to you. Hey, hold on. Bitch, be quiet. A lot of niggas fake, so I'm moving in silence. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. Got another one here, man. I got a banger. Probably ain't a banger, but you know what I mean? It's a Lapeef panel. Um, uh, he has a bunch of women on here always going off, always mad about something. Man, I just got to talk about something, y'all. Okay? I got to get this off my chest. All right? Now, you all know that my son broke his leg at school. I've had to go through the past month, two months of, you know what I mean, the, the hospital called CPS. Um, I'm in Nashville, North Carolina. These hillbillies just decided to call CPS without even talking to me. Um, CPS do their investigation right. And uh, it's a white guy come out here. And I had no problems with this dude. That's why you never heard about me talking about it. Investigation closed. And now I'm just... It's this follow-up lady that, that really just handles, like, uh, scheduling of appointments and then just closing out the rest. And it's it's very little I have to deal with her. Like, the case is closed. It's just administrative stuff I got to do. And I'm arguing with this black woman, man. Like, I'm arguing with this black woman. And, of course, she had to be a black woman. And she's mammy and me. And, you know, she had, like, there's been no no hurricane damage out here. She had, like, I didn't just get my phone and, and internet back up Friday afternoon. And she's just getting, she's trying to get on to me. She's trying to, she she's on the phone talking about, okay, Mr. Young, but you're not the only one that was affected by the hurricane. People in South Carolina was too. Last I checked, it said that Western North Carolina got the worst. How come I keep having South Carolinians telling me that y'all had it just as bad? Why are y'all doing that? This is not the victim Olympics. If you're able to get to your job and harass everybody that is currently going... This one was talking to me on the phone and a military helicopter was flying over me at the same time. I'm like, I know you hear the helicopter. Right. But this woman tried to mammy me and I had to tell her, listen, man, I'm not going to argue with you. You know, call me back at this time of the day, 2 p.m. And um, whatever administrative stuff I got to do, we'll do it then. She texts me at 730 this morning, man. Text me. I don't know you. We're not friends. Y'all I'm just telling you, man, y'all are weird as hell, man. Like, y'all are so weird. You want to mammy somebody all the time. You don't even have to know them. You got to get on to that woman, and I feel bad because I don't want to get on to her, but I had to put things back in check. You don't run to me. I don't work for you, fool. You can't do nothing to me. It's already done. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Do your administrative stuff and keep it trucking. Don't, don't. You know what I mean? Like, like I, this woman, I'm about to go live. She called me up. It's how the devil works, man. I was about to go live, man. This woman called me up out of nowhere. I'm like, man. And then she's on here trying to mammy me, man. Like, I done heard this from you. Oh, who talks like that? I done heard, you know, this story from you three different times. Da, 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 da. What are you talking like? I, ain't, I told her I ain't applying for it. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You're stressing me out. You know, I don't feel safe or comfortable. So you got to start using the right words when you're talking to these people that work for the government. See, they, they, they like to play with you like they running something. But when you know the game, man, you're stressing me out. So you're stressing me out. OK, I got PTSD, combat PTSD. And you making me feel like I might need to go down here and uh, schedule a visit to the VA. Oh, no, no, we ain't got to back off. Call me back at two, then leave me alone. OK. You know, you tired of hearing what I said? I'm tired of talking to you. You think I want to talk to you? No, 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 no. You're doing some administrative stuff on some crap that happened to my son at school with some other kid. I have nothing to do with it. I ain't no bad guy here. You ain't going to treat me like I look. I had to tell her, look, I work. I make content. You calling me constantly or whatever, texting me. You're going to knock me off my mood. It's, when you're making content, man, you got to be in the mood. You, you got Your energy got to be right, man. You have to. You have to be in. People just keep thinking it's a nine. To, it's not a nine to five job. A person can go into a nine to five job, half tired, hungover, you know, uh, all kind of thoughts on their mind about their home life and just go in there and do a mindless job. When you're creating content, it's off your mind. You're creating everything from your mind. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can't have people just calling and messing. And I had to tell this woman this. I'm like, you're not even a, you're not respecting my job. You're not respecting my work. And since you're not going to respect my work, I'm going to have to make you respect it. Call me back at two. 
I don't want to hear from you till then. After that, we'll we'll arrange another time you can call if you need to call again. That's it. No, no formalities, no politeness, no nothing anymore. Whatever. And it's a doggone shame because the white guy that I was dealing with during the investigation had no problem with. Right? This woman trying to tell me trying to tell me about myself three different times. Fuck shit, man. Just do your fucking job. It's not your job to be the mammy. It's not your job that like you own the thing. Just do your jobs, man. You think that she'd be talking to me the way that she talking to me if I was a white dude? Oh, man, it would South Carolina head. This is bad as you. I, I don't know why. You, we just got our power and everything back on late last week, fool. You Carolinian, South Carolinians already had your shit. What are you talking about, man? They're still recovering dead bodies out here in North Carolina. Whole towns are washed out in North. Anyway, y'all, I got this video over here from Lapeef. Um, and uh, these women out here talking crazy. Uh, you guys smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Hey, what's going on, fam? What's going on? I say David. David edits. What's going on, homie? Uh, but yeah, we gonna get this thing started. No further ado. Let's get right into it. I got a two o'clock appointment, y'all. Just. Speaking about the level of submission, so I'm just going to take a deep breath just so I can just put this all together real quick. Your, to answer the first question, the reason why Black women, because you were you was like Black men, Black men, so just like they said, white people, they're like, you can't say all white people but it's bad, but if majority of y'all is racist, then I'm going to think you racist, right? Right. Same. The majority of white people aren't racist. She's already starting this thing off with a bad faith argument. The majority of white people aren't racist, man. Victim Olympics, man. You, you That's that black woman was doing on the phone. South Carolina had it just as bad as you guys. This is not the Victim Olympics, nigga. I don't give a shit. I'm just trying to recover. Agree that for white people. You feel me? It's like, yeah, I got to feel you out first. You feel me? So I think the problem is men come in expecting that, not realizing the statistics. Even y'all, as the married man on this panel, y'all say y'all don't make up the majority of the men that we have to deal with. You know the issues that Black women have to deal with as far as stable homes and things like that in the in the community. So yeah, when we initially come in, we're going to be a little, you feel me, a little combative, ask a lot of questions and things of that nature. Um, but it's 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 very hard because when you look, I seen um, a st statistic the other day that said women own a lot of homes now, more homes than usual. You know more. Are you going to talk about those foreclosures, dummy? Like we are. Are you going to talk about those for those foreclosures, dummy? You going to talk about that? You're not going to talk about the fact that y'all are behind on all your rent, your uh, mortgages, and all that, and getting foreclosed. Okay, okay. High interest rates. Okay, okay. You're right. You're right. You got it doing something right so when we come in and it's not that we're trying to tell you how to do your job but some of us sometimes have a little bit more experience in getting things done and i feel like the the men that's the issue in the community the ones that you said like oh why do we feel like this or why do we feel like we need to question you is because a lot of them drop the ball and when it's time for y'all to take our advice a lot of us not trying to just make you take it but we're asking questions to make sure you're going on the right path to doing things correct depending like you know just to make sure you got it all and i don't think it's like to de to demean you but i feel like a man that's comfortable in his masculinity he knows a woman is gonna ask if y'all don't stop talking about what you feel like and start going off of what the fuck we're saying you're talking stupid as fuck you look stupid as fuck you know what the fuck are you talking about Dumbass, what are you talking about? What are the men saying to your stupid ass? What are the men saying to you? That's what you need to go off of, stupid. You don't need to be over here what you feel and what you think. That's why you have babies out of wedlock. That's why you don't have a man. That's why you're married at 26%. That's why y'all are, um, the majority of y'all are obese, right? That's why most of everybody think that you have attitudes. You don't listen. You don't listen. You don't listen. You don't listen. You just keep fucking talking in circles, babbling in this nonsensical loop that you're making us deal with in your fucked up ass minds. Okay. Stop talking about how the fuck you feel and what the fuck you think and what the go off what the fuck we're saying to you.
ask questions. She he knows she's gonna be concerned. That's just what we do. That's who we are, a king. When you think about it, they had oracles, they had advisors, and a lot of the oracles when it came down to intuition and having to make decisions, they were women. You See how I use an ad blocker? Very mindful, very demure. I'm not watching ads like the rest of you. But when I do, I get Man, paid for it. You know, very don't cute. worry, dummy. I think I literally you found like a switch. Google cheat code bad, because yeah. this update. Not no Not more. All. And I don't think it's like to de to demean you, but I feel like a man that's comfortable in his masculinity, he knows a woman is going to ask questions. She he knows she's going to be concerned. That's just what we do. That's who we are. Nag. When you think about it, they had oracles. They had advisors, and a lot of the oracles when it came down to intuition and having to make decisions, they were women. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we do. We consult. You think that a king that had some goofy female oracle, you think she was running around, running her fucking mouth any way she wanted to? Or do you think that she had to go towards that king with respect and she only came towards him when he asked for her guidance? Right? Do you think that she just ran around telling him about herself without him asking? Nah, man. See, they're bringing in stupid ass shit, right? They do anything they can to try to make it seem like you need guidance from some stupid, foolish ass female. No, you don't. Why are they trying to replace God so bad? You got to start thinking about this kind of stuff. Why do they want to replace God so bad as being your guidance, your peace, uh, your intuition? Why are they trying to do that? What, 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 why are they trying to create space for themselves that we're not creating for them? We're, we're telling them what we want them to do in our life, but they saying, no, we're going to do this. Well, we don't want that and we're not going to take it. So why are you still talking about it? Men are walking away more than ever, and you're still talking this crazy babble. This is what I'm saying. They're ignorant. They're, they're, they're halfway insane. They don't really want men. They just want to argue with you. They just want to debate. They want to break you. They want to mammy you. They don't really want to date you. They want, don't want to be with you. They, they feel like they're your older sister, your mama, your mammy, your auntie, your grandma, you know, and none of these goofy, dumbass, loose, uh, goofball goobers have a husband, have a, a traditional, respectable family, nuclear family dynamic, none of that kind of stuff. It's just them online, single as hell, raising kids out of wedlock. Man, they look worn out in the fucking face, man. Look at these motherfuckers. You know, nothing about them is appealing to an uh, even an average looking average guy. He can do better than this overseas on vacation. Why sit here and argue with females about common sense dating dynamics when they're trying to restructure everything and be your God. Confirmation. Don't make any sense. Don't make any sense, right? Let's continue. Another thing is when you talk about authority, it's, it's the way that you're saying it and then the positions that you're putting us in. When you have a business, you have so for instance, think of it, like you said, like a business, right? But it's more of a partnership. So when you think of a partnership, they a team, but it's still. Hey, man, this ain't the day. If you don't take your dumb ass on somewhere, I don't give a shit what the title says. What does the channel name say? Stupid ass. It says David, right? King David. The wolf, whatever. That's me, fool. The top, the title can say whatever it wants. And I can talk about the price of tea in China. You ain't got to watch, dumb ass. You're over here just trying to get me off subject and you want attention. Why are you putting emojis in your comment? Aren't you a grown person? What kind of grown person puts emojis? Why do you want to emote to me what your emotional and 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 your uh, facial expressions are right now? Why do why do you think that I care? Gaslighting, trolling, you're dumb trash. Do you feel better now? Do you feel better? Are you done? If you're not, please continue. I have time today. I have time today. You don't need to worry about what I'm talking about. But you niggas that be like, oh, well, you don't need to get online and tell your business. What did I really tell you? What specifics did I really give you? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Still a partnership, a marriage and a relationship is a partnership. So it's something they bring it. Like they said, I bring something 